Hi everyone, it's Ruthie at the Popo Backyard Farm and I am making doilies. And today is Sunday, it's my veg out day in case you saw the first video that we did. And I'm working on a few things today, but I wanted to share with you how to make a doily. First of all, I have never made one before, so this was kind of a neat project for me. So I didn't know exactly how to go about it, so I went to the store and I got some of this type of string. And it had right on it the size needle hook that you needed. So that helped a lot, which is like a seven really small little hook. And there were like a pack of six, and I got those at Walmart. And this string was about probably two dollars or three for all that string. Now, I was lucky because I remembered a pattern <laughs> that I did a long time ago. And I said, well, let's try to see if this works out in a doily. So I'm going to just give you the brief on how this goes. In the center, you're going to chain six, then do 12 double crochets around the first row. Then what happens is you're going to double crochet and skip a loop, double crochet and skip, double crochet and skip. Then you get to your first row after that one. And what you're going to do is you're going to do the same kind of a principle, only you're going to double crochet in each of the holes, but instead of doing one, you're going to do two. Then you get, get to the next row and you're going to skip every other one. Then you're going to get to the next row and you're going to put three in each hole, skip, three, skip, three. Then you go one all the way around, one double crochet, skip, one double crochet, skip. And then you do four, one skip, one skip, five, one skip, one skip, six, one skip, one skip, which makes it increase because in between, they're it's going to get curly. But then, just so I can show you what I'm working on now, as you get to the part where you're skipping every other loop and you're not adding the five and the six and the seven and it gets bigger as you go out, it makes it straighten out when you do the every other one skip. It just straightens out the work and it lays flat. So as I keep working on my project, every other every other row will be what like this one here. I'm, I just did the four and then skip, four and then skip. So when I do this row again, which is skipping every other loop, it's going to straighten it out. So in between, as you're working on it, it's going to get curly. And you could actually leave it curly if you wanted to on, say, if you were making like a little doll outfit or something like that. But I'm making doilies. So this was one little project. If you know how to crochet, this is um, real easy to make doilies. And you could do a granny square. You can do any pattern that you know. They can be really, really ornate. The more you crochet, the better you're going to be at it. The more you're going to learn. And practice makes perfect. So the best thing to do is just to try things and learn how to do it. And... I mean, there's so many things that you can do with a doily. You can put it under a plant. You could put it on, on a table. You could make little purses. You could make outfits. You could probably make a whole wedding dress <laughs> if you felt like you wanted to. And it's a skill that, you know, the more you learn about how to make doilies, the more you can do with them. You can make wall hangings and you can put ribbon in between them. I mean, there's a lot, a lot of ideas that you can learn. If you have any ideas for that you can use with doilies, um, please leave it in the comments below. And th this was just my comment on how to make this. If you already know how to crochet, you're going to kind of get the lingo and you're going to be like, oh my goodness, I never made a doily before. That just makes so much sense. It's just everything is smaller and you can use patterns that you already know and you'll learn to do more and more as you as practice makes perfect. It's just everything's smaller and it's with a smaller needle, a smaller string. 
And so if you want to get started, you can also use a cotton yarn or regular yarn. And like I said, the more you do it, the better you'll be. And so this is my first attempt at making a doily. So God bless. Have a wonderful day. If you have any projects or something you'd like me to try, leave the comment below. And um, like I said, if there's any questions you can ask me, I'll try to do the best I can. I just wanted to kind of give you just a brief description of how you can get started making doilies. So I will see you in my next video. God bless.